Hi everyone, welcome back. I've got a review video for you today, which is a full review on the Eyelure Pro Lash Dye Kit in black and the Pro Lash Dye, uh, dye Kit, the Pro Brow Dye Kit in dark brown. So um, I've been using these ever since I dyed my hair red because my eyebrows are very, very, very fair. And um, the eyelashes, I don't know, I'm not sure it adds anything to it because most days I wear mascara, but great for if you're planning on um, going on holiday or maybe just you might want darker lashes for when you're around your partner and family in the evenings after you've taken your makeup off or for if you just don't like to wear makeup or if you just want, like to wear clear mascara then you might want the eyelash um, dye kit. So I have previously done a video which demoed and gave the first impressions on the eyelash dye so I'll link that in the description bar for you but today is a full review on both the products and I will be dem demoing the brow product for you including application so if you'd like to see how I got on and what my thoughts are on these products please keep watching so firstly I'm just going to wipe my eyebrows with some micellar water on a cotton pad um, just a teeny bit just to make sure there's no oil I did put serum and moisturizer on today so I just want to make sure that um, there's no residue of that so uh, it does say on the instructions that you could put Vaseline or some sort of protector around your brows to make sure that you don't stain your skin. I personally find that any discoloration I can cover with foundation for a day or two until it removes and I prefer to do that rather than faffing on with Vaseline on my face etc. Plus I try and put it on quite neatly anyway and, and plus I don't really go for that Instagram carved out brow, I just basically just put some brow product through so it's not really important to me that they're perfectly even but if that's important to you then you may wish to do that. Um, what I tend to do is drop, as it just as it says in the instructions, two centimetres of the cream in brown um, with five drops of the activator and um, just stir it together with um, the little spoolie it comes with. It's like a mascara, tiny mascara one that you get a little tray as well um, which needs washing. Um, when you're done. So I've got a good amount of product loaded up and I've been mixing it really well and I'm just going to brush it through my brows. So if you want a demo of the um, eyelash kit in action then do pop over to that video because I did a first impressions and demo of that product in a video. So you'd want to make note of the time to ensure oh, that um, you're going to leave it on for the correct amount of time. <laughs> so I'm sure you already know that but I just thought, I didn't want to say obviously because then for people who didn't know that to make them seem like I'm saying they're idiots, do you know what I mean? I hate it when you watch reviews and people are like obviously and you're like well it wasn't obvious to me, I must be stupid. Um, so yeah, you would want to check the time to make sure that you leave it on for the correct amount of time. Not too much, because it will sting. Having said that, I'm just going to explain. Although I'm not advising you to do this, because it's not my responsibility if you want to do it, just as a legal disclaimer, I personally do leave it on for a minute or two longer than it suggests because um, I just find the colour is nice and rich and, I, and if you do plan to do this then you may wish to do it in the stages so I would never just slap on a product and leave it there for longer than it's supposed to be what I would do is put it on for the maximum time allowed and then every time I use it increase that by 30 seconds even less if you have sensitive skin I would say uh, but as I said I'm not a professional I'm not advising you to do this until it gets to the point where you feel that that's long enough so I don't just let my skin burn and put it on for longer. So let's have a look at the instructions just to remind myself of how long. I think it says don't leave it on longer for five minutes than five minutes maximum. Yep, and, and then you have dark glossy black brows and I tend to leave mine on for seven minutes. So um, I'll see you in seven minutes. <laughs> so it's actually been ten minutes because I've accidentally left it on longer than I plan to. Um, but I, my feelings are I'd be able to feel it tingling and feel if it's a problem, if it is a problem. I have left it on for 10 minutes before and I do like the rich intensity of the colour. So um, all I'm doing is using the same piece of cotton with micellar water than I, that I did to clean the brows and wipe it off. 
I do feel as though um, once it dries it looks even darker um, so obviously you saw me at the beginning before I applied it and I do feel like it's you know added added two things as I wouldn't use it obviously so yeah my my brows um, are pretty much transparent so at the start of the video when you saw I had a bit of sort of regrowth I'd had dyed them about four four to six weeks ago I didn't keep count and um, the main reason I wanted to do this review as a full review even though I'd already demoed the eyelash kit is because I wanted to show uh, to see if the, you could get 12 applications out of it basically so let's get the other kit the eyelash kit right so here's the eyelash version um, I would say yes you can um, I would say I've used these at least six times and there's about half left so I would say you could get between 10 and 12 applications out of these and I would say that they do last as they say um, it, I think it goes on to say one's permanent and one sort of lasts six weeks. Um, I personally, because of regrowth, I do dye them both, you know, every sort of six weeks, four to six weeks. And yeah, so I would say they were definitely worth the money. I really like them. I don't get any irritation. Um, and as I mentioned in my eyelash demo and first impressions video I feel like I can get it right up to the lash line as well and it still doesn't irritate my eyes so yeah I hope that review has been helpful for you guys um, give me a thumbs up if you feel it has uh, hit that subscribe button if you've not already and I'll see you in the next one bye